Fellas, welcome to spring summer fashion. Here are my essentials I think every guy should nail down and incorporate. Let's get it. First essential up, we got white pants. I know all you guys got is black pants, so let's switch it up this time. So I just think this is a great way to stand out as a guy. It's going to push you past your comfort zone that you're normally used to, expand your style, and it's going to absorb less heat as well. So check this out. Wide fit white pants, a white tank top, and you can just interchange any color jacket from muted to vibrant to pastel, and it's all going to look amazing. Which is why our next essential is vibrant or pastel colors. Pair these with a full white outfit base, and it just looks so clean. Now, will I still be wearing muted colors? and black trousers, of course, without a doubt. Now, up next, you need texture. No need to explain. Get yourself something like a pleated shirt or anything with visual texture. So even a shirt or a jacket with extra pockets and buttons provide a nice visual interest that's going to add to your spring summer outfit. And the next essential is to pick up a ton of white and black tank tops. The brand doesn't really matter. So Uniqlo, Hanes, Fruit of the Loom, whatever works best for you and your budget, double down on it. So whether you call them white beaters or white respecters, a tank top underneath a light jacket is just an unmatched look for the spring and summer. Now, are there going to be a lot of guys doing the same thing? Absolutely. But do you know what a lot of guys don't have? Abs, a six pack. I recently read a study that only 8% of guys actually have visual abs. That's kind of crazy, but that's actually going to make it easier for you to look great in a tank top. And that just leads to our next essential, which is to work out. This is essential for any human being, but just do some sort of exercise, some sort of training, whether that be martial arts, walking for 30 minutes a day, weightlifting, calisthenics, whatever is your thing. Like how much do you spend on TikTok? I guarantee you it's going to be more than 30 minutes a day. But when you get in really good shape, now your options have opened. Fitted clothes and oversized clothes looks great. And you'll be able to appreciate any size of clothing, which is not only going to expand your wardrobe, it's also going to improve your style because you got more options. So you might even be able to skip the overshirt as a whole and just rock the tank top by itself. Now, obviously you don't want to look like a douche, so be careful with that. But this is also going to make you look better in a dress shirt with a few buttons unbuttoned. This works for camp collar shirts as well. Again, you got more styling options, which just leads to my next essential, a variety of button up shirts. My favorites are the stand up collared shirt from Unicorn glow, this camp collar shirt from Olive Clothing, and this button up from a cold wall. Also enjoying these pieces as well. These shirts are lighter weights and look great when layered. Plus unbuttoning a few buttons always looks great. It shows off your necklace and it just fits the whole entire mood of spring and summer. Also, I'm gonna show y'all such a simple outfit any of you guys can look good in. Camp collar shirts, trousers, and accessories. That is it, simple and clean. Maybe toss on a colorful top layer on the colder days of spring and you're good to go. Now up next is jewelry, we all know that. Get yourself some nice sterling silver jewelry that's minimal and timeless. These pieces are never gonna go out of style, let's keep it moving. Now the next essential are cuffable jackets. So I'm sure you've seen other videos and they recommend crop jackets and that's great, I love crop jackets. So why is it that the bottom of the jacket only gets adjusted? Not as many people recommend cuffing your sleeves. Why not both? Get a crop jacket, cuff the sleeve as well. So obviously minimal overshirts really shine in this camp but basically anything that you can cuff is going to look great. So I would recommend cuffing your piece just slightly before the bend of the elbow. This is gonna show off your accessories, your forearms, maybe some tattoos that you got, and it's going to provide some more ventilation and be more breathable. Check out this denim jacket with a satin lining. When you cuff it, that satin detail comes out. All of this matters because we're going to be layering less. And now we can talk about headwear. Headwear is my jam, and I've been wearing headwear for a while now because I'm currently growing out my hair. It's in the awkward stage of growth right now, so I can't really style it, so that's why you always see me wearing headwear and hats and all that. It's gonna look nice, I hope. And so I don't care what y'all are gonna say, about this, but you're gonna see me wearing beanies in the summertime. I know it's a bit weird, but let me do my thing. So if you're looking for some dope headwear, I would definitely recommend the two-tone cap. These just look way better than the standard dad hats or even a trucker hat, in my opinion. Trucker hats are still dope though. And by the way, these ones right here are samples, so stay tuned for that on a choice made. But basically, any two-tone cap is going to look good. I really love this one from Kith, and this one right here is from my boy Devin from Devin on Deck. But if you're not into that, bucket hats, trucker hats, any other type of hats, whatever is your thing, stick to it, double down on it, and get a ton of different colorways. And now our final essential for spring and summer is eyewear. So again, we are going to be layering less. So you wanna find ways to add to your outfits without adding any heat. And eyewear is the perfect way to do it. It doesn't add heat. It's going to make your face look more symmetrical, hide your eye bags, take away from any acne. And a lot of the times when I see other people wearing eyewear, they just look nicer to be around. I don't know. Now, if you want something that's going to really fit the spring summer vibe, definitely get some tinted frames. This is a great subtle way to add 
some color and I don't see as many people doing it. I would just recommend that you stick to timeless pieces and nothing too trendy or you can also go thrifting or second hand. I got these YSL glasses for 25 bucks. Unique, they're YSL and they look dope. Now I've also got a few bonuses. Get yourself some unique looking shorts. It could be a cool pattern or a solid color like these washed gray ones or a nice color like these ones from Kit. Another bonus I would recommend is crop trousers. I know this isn't for everyone but it's definitely for me. I think they look great and it's also more breathable. Happy spring summer y'all. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys check out my video on where I compare $50 pairs of pants to $500 pairs of pants. One of my favorite videos I've made. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly. Deuces.